Uh, Sean Hannity had uh, Roy Moore on. Is that what this? This is okay. So Sean Hannity had Roy Moore on, but he is now um, defending himself uh, from charges. Now, Hannity um, either misspoke or was misunderstood, according to Hannity, and and. I think it's possible where he suggested that it sounded like he suggested a 14 year old could give consent to having relations. And what he said in his defense is that he thought it was a 16 year old could give dis uh, consent to dating a 32 year old man or a 34 year old man. Now that is, I think technically the case in Georgia and uh, that's important to note. But when your defense of charges that a sexual predator went after a 14-year-old girl is that, hey, the 16-year-old that he went after at that age was perfectly legal. When your defense for a guy from being, and first off, why does he believe the 16-year-old as opposed to the 14-year-old? Right? We have accounts of the 14-year-old telling people contemporaneously this. But he only believes the 16-year-old. Maybe the girl was lying. Maybe she wasn't even 16. I, I mean, why, why does he selectively choose to believe her? Well, I know why, we, why he does. But when your, your defense of a guy from not being a child molester with a 14-year-old is... But the other girl, uh, if she's old enough to set the table, she's old enough to play. When that's your defense, you may have a bit of a problem. Here's Sean Hannity. And other people just do it. Do some people do it for political reasons? I, how do you possibly tell no the truth? Except, okay, so the two other girls were older in this case. He was apparently like 32, and he dated uh, one girl was 18. One girl was 17. 16. They never said he, he lied. There's no sexual there was kissing pause involved. It, pause it. He lied. You know, it's funny because I remember Sean Hannity when he used to talk about um, when he used to talk about Monica Lewinsky. He would lie about her age too. How old? And he would he would, he would say that she was a year y younger than she was. So somehow these these ages are all going to meet in some type of median between. It's a fluid, <laughs> fluid, yeah. fluid, very fluid. You know, uh, only twenty nine. He was yeah. twenty nine when he lied. Right, he was twenty nine. She was. <laughs> by the time he's in, it's just completely. It's like he was twenty eight. She was twenty three. Uh, what's uh, the problem? Yeah. What's good? Uh, one girl was eighteen. One girl was seventeen. Nope. They never said he did. There was no sexual. There was kissing involved. And then they're saying this one encounter and, and with a 14 consensual. and consensual. Yeah. So, I mean, that is the big thing. But based upon his trying to minimize the the creepiness, like, I don't know why. If it's no big deal, I don't then know why, why, Roy Moore, why, didn't, why Roy Moore just run on that. No I wonder if Sean Hannity get out there and go like, look, I, you know, I would vote for a guy who who uh, seduced my 16 year old daughter <laughs> when he was age 32. And it's not like there's not a regular uh, um, a pattern of this. So Sean Hannity lost some advertisers for this because some advertisers find it creepy to have to be advertising on a program that is defending uh, somebody who is targeting young women at that age. And uh, one of those people was um, was Keurig. They make the uh, one-off coffee uh, machines. For a while, we were using one in here. Somebody sent me one. Uh, I think Brendan's been using, using it again. Well, he's, uh, he's using the, the big pot now. because oh, he's, he's no, no, Brendan, no Brendan, Yeah, he's Brendan doing a lot. through a whole pitcher in the morning. Um, but... Here it is, Sean Hannity now promoting people destroying their coffee makers. Um, in fact, I think he's to say he's buying them to destroy them. But here is here is a deplorable uh, who is going to set up his curry coffee machine in his garage. And you really can't hit golf balls in, in an enclosed environment like this. So uh, I believe this will work just fine now. 
First thing you want to do is set up your ball, get a nice wide stance. Get a good wide stance, take a firm grip, and you want a good full body turn, one piece take away so that you can really crush this thing. Now here we go. It's got Let's a golf club. This thing. Seems to have a pretty good swing. I believe that'll do it. Now if you work with this club regularly, drink lots of black rock. There you go. I hope that's you one have someone example. there to clean it up. Because that's uh, yeah. such a loser move. Uh, he has to clean it up by himself. What a moron. I came into the office early to put Sean Hannity's face on all the Keurigs this week someone tweeted out. And someone made a video of someone that's throwing Stefan down a... To you. Uh, no. It's that weird Canadian guy who's totally mentally sound. Um, this is so bizarre. But was uh, it you? You know, Hannity throws a football yes. out. Yes. Did is it you that told me that he used to he used to be a tennis ball? Oh, is that right? And Ale because Hannity actually like is more into tennis than football, and Ale's apparently was like that's a pussy sport. That wasn't a throw profile a of him. There's yeah. no yeah. doubt in my mind that is all like let's throw the football so it just me buffs you up a little bit. Yeah. Here's a football. Age of Consents 15. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.